good morning. Last morning, last day on Kubu Island. Busy making myself some breakfast. I don't carry milk or anything like that. I just make this simple granola with a splash of black coffee. It is uh, quite nice. So I will be having that. Oh, pouring it on my car. I'll be having that. Got up super early this morning. Yesterday morning when I got up, this place was packed. But as you can see this morning, wind has died down a little. I think it'll pick up around nine again. Um, but we have clouds in the sky. So the sunrise will be somewhat different. advice for those coming to Kubu um, which I've noticed over the last two days <clears throat> your sunrise spot is crucial your sunset spot is crucial there are baobabs like this one scattered around the edges and they become hot spots for taking photography yesterday I tried to get a, a picture of the troopy with this and I was shooed away by some tourists who had chosen this as their spot so they wanted to sit here and uh, enjoy it all to themselves, a bit like my campsite story last night. So it, it can get fairly tense. Um, I went to another one uh, to go and take pictures of the baobabs, parked my car, only to find that what you need to remember is people stay on the other side of the tree to take the sunset through the tree, um, which is special. And so if your car is in the way, it kind of destroys their picture. So I've got to this one nice and early. I've parked my troopy uh, before anyone can get here. And so just waiting for the sun to come up, enjoying some coffee. Sadly, it was time to leave Kubu. The sun had risen and I decided that I would do one last drive out onto the pans and head straight out into the sunrise before turning and heading back out towards the CKGR. Today I'm heading to the central Kalahari, 
or better known as the CKGR. I've heard some pretty scary stories about the driving from the main road to the Matsuere gate and so I've left nice and early to ensure I've got sufficient time to get to camp. Me and GPS's, we do not get along. I just turned off to Orapa. Now, some of you who are watching will probably realize this, but I didn't realize this. I did not realize that Orapa is a mining town. So, you have to have a permit to go there. So, I merrily inserted uh, the Wimpy in Orapa. I just thought, well, if there's a Wimpy, I can go to it. So I've just asked at this lodge and um, they told me, nah, sorry, you need a permit to go in there. So the two spots to fuel up are Letlakani and um, Rakops. But I'm a dumbass. But we're going to head to Rakops and hope that we get some fuel because apparently there's another little town on the way that I can fuel up. What a day, what a day. I decided to turn into Mopipi and we are to have an engine garage just to be on the safe side in case Rockwell doesn't have one. Rockwell is only 58 k's away. But uh, I don't want to take a chance that I don't get the fuel. So we're busy refueling the jerry cans. Had to pop the top it makes it a bit easier to get those things out of the troopy because they're all inside the troopy because we've already got firewood on the top so lifting that roof is a nightmare with one jerry can and to have three jerry cans just wouldn't wouldn't work well, i know i'm going to get a car wash apparently there's a car wash at the back of the garage this is the car wash And my gas station attendant tried hard to find the person that runs that small little car wash but uh, uh, he was nowhere to be found. So we're going to push on to Rock Ops. We're going to just top up. It's only 57 k's away but we're going to make sure that the tanks are top, topped up for that last little bit of fuel before we go into the CKGR. And I need to get water there. Um, when we go into the CKGR, I will have a total of 240 litres of diesel, 180 in the two standard trippy tanks, and then uh, three jerry cans of 60 litres each, so that's 240 in total. We'll see how our fuel consumption goes. for CKGR Rock Ops This is the nature of the fuel station Literally a little house So I've managed to find 
find the car wash, Tuso and Tabelo are going to be cleaning the tribute before we go into CKGO. Just so that uh, most of the dust is gone because it's a hell of a mess. Getting sorted with last emails before we head into the CKGR while the car gets washed and the chickens run around. There we go. Looking much better now, eh? Last touches. It's going to be sacrilege to dirt yet again. Even the wheel cover's been cleaned. No more banging doors with dust flying in your face. So rock ops all done. Uh, got some extra water from the shop there. Uh, topped up the fuel, got the car washed. And I had one extra five liter that I hadn't, uh, that I'd finished. So I thought, eh, you know what, just fill it up with rock ops water. It can use it for dishes, but you don't have to drink it. Oh my word, you must smell the sulfur smell that has that is on this uh, water. It's hectically stinky. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for water, I wouldn't drink it. That's your own personal preference if you do. But for sure, it, it has a pungent, pungent smell. The dude there said, just leave it for a day, it'll go away. But uh... So here we are at the famous Central Kalahari Game Reserve turn off. Central Kalahari, here we come. Woo! CKGR. D flat before we hit this road to the gate. 45 k's. Gonna go down to 1.8 on the front and 2 at the back for now. Oh, I don't want to do this section. It's 45 k's of crazy stuff. By the looks of things, I've barely gone like a kilometer and I'm already hitting this crazy. Huddy huddy type where the roads are pulled up by various vehicles trying to get across this what could be a marshy land but I'm not going in that right hand lane there that's crazy car up schluck and stuff that so we are making our own road here it seems that everybody does is this really the road to I mean, how often is this road taken? There must be so few people taking this road. The road to the central Calabari is paved with dust and bumps. So this road, you get going on a nice even plane and you think you can uh, change to fourth and uh, hit about a 45, 50 kilometer an hour and then suddenly this bongo of sorts comes along and hits you and the temptation is to slam on brakes uh, but you can't really slam on too hard because you kind of bottom out into the ditch so you kind of got to commit and go through it and everything just goes flying and bouncing around, it's crazy it's either that or crawl along at 20 and get there after dark, which is not on my agenda. Here comes some fun and games. Exactly what I was talking about. Now some guys have gone off to the right here. Is that a wise decision? I don't know. I don't think that actually did much. Let's see. Oh, there's a donga here. 
along the track. One doesn't know what to do. Look at that. It's just powder dust washing the car. I don't know what the point. There's more powder dust here than there was in the, on the pads. It's just panic. Wow. Jeez, look at this. This stuff must be hitting the belly of my car. Oh, frick. Okay. They say you would come to CKGR and scratch your car. This is one hell of a thing. Whoa, and back on the track. Oh, frick. Woo wee. I'm just going to put my mirrors in. That's weird. So my cheap tire pressure monitor shows it's 0.4, but the tires very much is very much still there. I think these guys get hit and then they uh, get damaged. Yeah, this thing's damaged. I'll check this thing again. Good old fashioned one, shows it's 2.2. So, one tire pressure monitor down. And we're only 15 k's into this game. is uh, I want to say a little better than before but uh, the corrugations are unforgiving they just hit you all the time Kilometers to Matsueda Gate, and uh, no sign of this road letting up. Um, this, I can honestly say, is worse than getting to Kubu. Uh, it's a hectic road. Um, you've got to keep your wits about you all the time. My palms are sweating on the steering wheel, it's so hectic, and it's warm outside. And then uh, to top it all off, we've still got to get from the Matsueda gate to our camp, which is another, I don't know, about 40 k's. So another hour outside of that. So if we get to there, we're probably lucky to get to camp by 3, 3.30, which hopefully is enough time for a little drive to Sunday camp. And I'm truly hoping that this isn't what I have installed every day when you want to go for a game drive so just arrived at Matsuere gate and journey into the CKGR begins how cool is this 
at the watering hole, literally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I probably should tell you that on my journey up, I've been listening to Mark and Delia Earn's book, Cry the Kalahari. And as I'm entering into the central Kalahari, I can't help but think that the road in was a damn side easier than it must have been for them heading through the bush felt. just arrived at my campsite number three and uh, it appears there are people on it um, very friendly people they were actually at Kubu last night and traveled from Kubu tonight Ulrika and Valerie so they said no join us it's not a problem so I think I'm gonna do that but right now I've decided I'm going to head out to Sunday Pan Always living in hope to spot one of the big five.
have attracted a swarm of bees that are confessed to being a little freaked out.